and a bloody boom. We are back just like that for a block drain. And it's not just any old block drain, it's a blocked channel drain. I bloody love them, guys. Well, let's take the grate off and have a little bo peep inside and see what's going on. See what the cause of the call out was for. And bloody Bob is your mother's brother. We're all over it like a rash on your grandma. And guys, you can see this channel drain is a little bit dirty. I've seen worse, but this is still a little bit of a disgrace. I mean, look at that. We've got maggots just living the great Australian dream, cruising along this greasy, oily channel drain. There's no need for them to be here. And here is something I prepared a little earlier. We'll start off with a bit of disinfectant before we start scrubbing this thing down. And I mean, mate, she's not totally blocked, but she's just on her way to becoming blocked. And we're here for a bit of preventative maintenance. You can see that is, that's a lovely free-flowing drain. But I'll tell you what, it's gonna be so clean that you could eat your bloody dinner off it once we are done with this channel drain. Let's get stuck in. I mean, we are really starting to make some serious progress here. It's just a little bit misty, and I feel like I'm breathing in a bit of bloody bin juice, you know? But anyway, that's what we signed up for. So let's continue on with the fun. You know what, mate? I mean, this is turning out oh, like a little bit of a work of art, you know? This is just what dreams are made of, guys. So let's continue on. Let's get this bloody Mickey Mouse. your bloody legends you're doing well give yourselves an early pat on the back but there's still more work to do so let's continue on
see if there's a little bit of method to the absolute madness. I had this hot water urn just sitting in the van and I thought, you never know, a bit of really hot water in this channel drain. Just pour it in here. I thought it might, uh, it might break some of this really tough grease down, guys, but we'll just pour her in. And we'll get her cooking. And no, we're not going to make a cup of tea or a, a cup of coffee. Boom, we are away. Let's fire her up. Boom, just like magic. Now, this boiling water will hopefully break down this real tough grease. Oh, look at that, mate, already. Cutting through her like absolute butter. Lovely. Just give her a bit of a scrape. And as I always say, guys, you go the extra mile just to make sure that everything is 110%. Your client will be bloody happy for it, you know, and you'll get the call back in the future. There's no point in doing, you know, 99% of it. Guys, get the job done 100%, or even 110%, guys. Aim high. Just get it sorted, guys, and they'll love you for it. All right, well, look at this already, guys. This is just me. I, I mean, I don't like to pat myself on the back. I don't like to, you know, blow my own bloody trumpet. But sometimes I've got a couple of ideas up the sleeve, like this one here. It's, uh, it just bloody, you know, they just work. Anyway, enough of me, more of the drains. And I mean, it's times like these when I think to myself, you know, there's nowhere else I'd rather be than right here little bit of extra disinfectant guys and look at that she's looking bloody beautiful I'll give her one last blast and then we'll pop the grates on and we'll give the grates a good old blast but guys you know you just look at that mate I mean you've done wonderful I'm probably gonna say to you take the rest of the day off We got some more disinfectant going down on the floor and I tell you what, I've added a cheeky little bit of soap in amongst that. And I mean, this floor is going to be so clean you'd be able to run your tongue across the room. It'd be beautiful. Yeah, I've left the bloody valve off in the van, haven't I? Would you look at me? I better bloody do a couple of spins around here because I'm getting tangled up. What a mess. Oh, look at that. We are back in action. <laughs> 